cross-tab and chi-square statistics using SPSS. Now what is cross-tab report? If you want to analyze the frequency of response between two variables, you can use cross-tab reports. Now what it does is that cross-tab helps produce summary results in the form of a table where data is grouped at an intersection point. The data in cross-tab reports is summarized in the form of rows and columns. And at the intersection of rows and column, you've got a data value providing a summary of uh, the two variables or the frequency of the two variables. The cross-tab procedure forms two-way and multi-way tables. If you want to form multi-way tables, you will have to use layers. Now, what does layers do? They actually help you categorize the output. For example, if you specify a row, a column and a layer factor, which is termed as a control variable. The cross tabs procedures forms one panel of associated statistics and measures for each value of the layer factor. We'll be looking at this through an example as well. Now, for example, if gender is a layer factor, for a table of married, there are two variables, okay, one is married with two values, yes and no, and the other variable is life, with values is life exciting, routine or dull. Now, since gender is our layer factor, the results show separate association between married and life for each gender, for instance, male and female. An important test associated with cross-tab reports is chi-square test of association. Now, chi-square test of association is used when you want to check association between two categorical variables on nominal scale. However, it is important to note that in the case of two variables being compared, the test can also be interpreted as determining if there is a difference between the two variables. So you can use your chi-square test of association as a test of difference if your variables are on nominal scale. Now the test is also referred to as chi-square test of independence, also Pearson chi-square test. Now when you can use chi-square test? So following are the few scenarios in which chi-square test is appropriate. A business research teacher would like to know whether gender, male or female, is associated with preferred type of learning methods. Now in both cases, your both variables are on nominal scale. There is no order between the values. So they are on nominal scale. A group of students who are classified in terms of their personality, introvert or extrovert, one variable, personality. And in terms of color preference, red, yellow, green or blue. With the purpose of seeing whether there is an association, relationship between personality and color preference. Both of them on nominal scale. A car manufacturing company would like to know if there is an association between different makes of the car and the gender. Whether a particular gender prefers a, a particular make of the car. So in each of these scenarios, both the variables are on nominal scale. And you want to test the association between these variables. In this case, we will use chi-square test of association. And finally, a market researcher would like to know if a particular brand of watches is associated with a particular gender. And in this case, you can use chi-square test of association as well. Now let's go for our example. In order to run cross-tab analysis, we will go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Cross-tabs. And I've already got that here, so let's uh, change it. Okay, this is how you will see. Let's put personality as row and preference as column. You can change the order of row and columns as well. Um, it's, it's depend, it depends on your own readability. Do not do anything else for now. Just press OK. And here are your results. N is 150, the percentage valid, none missing. So here are your results, personality into preference cross tabulation. Now introverts and extrovert, these are two personality types and for red color there are 13 people with introvert personalities, their preference is red. Nine people with extrovert personality, their preference is red. And same is for yellow, green, blue. So you've got, you've divided your categories that is preference and personality into cross tabulation. And at the intersection of these data values, you've got a summary statistic, a frequency. For instance, let's say 13 people who've got 
and uh, an introvert personality have got color preference for blue. Same is for extrovert as well. Now let's use the layer variable. So how do you use the layer variable? Same, go to analyze, descriptive statistics, cross tab. And what we'll do is we'll put city as a layer and we'll press OK. And here are your results. Now the preference and the personality is now divided into cities. So for in Islamabad, if the personality or in our data set, the personality is introvert, there are four people with the choice of color red, yellow 5, green 14, blue 7. And similarly for Lahore and then there is our total. Total is similar to this one. So layer variable can help you divide your output by categories for a particular cross tab report. Now let's run our test. Before I run our test, let's see. So I've got this output, a sample output as to how to report the tests as well. So one, while this opens, let's run our test. We can press control A and press delete to delete all the output. And now chi-square test of association. We want to test the association between the personality and the color preference. In order to do this, what we'll do is we'll go to analyze, descriptive statistics, cross tab, and let's remove the layer variable for now. Go to statistics and select chi-square statistics. Press continue and press OK. Now we've discussed these two and this is your chi-square result. Pearson chi-square value is 4.535. The degrees of freedom 3 and your significance or your p-value is 0 0.209 which is greater than 0 0.05. This means that there is no association between personality and color preference. Now how do you report these results? Here is a sample output. The problem is to identify the association between personality and color preference. Based on this problem, the hypothesis is there is a significant association between personality and color preference. Now in order to report chi-square test or chi-square test of association, what we do is we write Chi-square statistics were used to examine association between categorical variables, personality and color preference. The results actually showed there is an insignificant association at 5% significance level between the two variables which are personality and color preference of the respondents. Here is your chi-square, 4.535, the degree of freedom 3 and p-value 0 0.209 which is greater than 0.05. So your H1 was not supported. Let's say I want to test this hypothesis in each of the cities. So what I will do is I'll go to analyze, descriptive statistics, cross tabs and add the layer variable and just press OK. And if you look here, obviously the, the significance level obviously in Islamabad greater than 0 0.05, in Lahore greater than 0 0.05, overall 0 0.209, again there is no association between these two variables. So this is how you can use chi-square test of association and cross-tab reports to, ass to assess the relationship between two nominal scale variables. One more thing, if you go to analyze descriptive statistics and cross-tabs and go to statistics, uh, sorry, go to cells, you can take percentages as well. So let's say we want the percentages in rows and columns, just press continue, press OK. And here you can see within personality and within preference, this shows your percentage score as well. So there are 13 people whose personality is introvert and their preference is red. And within personality, this count or this amounts to 18.6%. But within preference, this amounts for 59.1%. So this is how you can use percentage with cross tab reports as well. Thank you very much.